Tell me something, are you in the habit of just walking into people's houses uninvited? Does that ever end poorly? I'd think most people would object to strangers rifling through their things. Of course, I am not most people. Come to think of it, it has been too long since I've enjoyed the conversation of strangers. Now that is the question, isn't it? I'm going to need time to figure that out. Which gives you plenty of time to get us some refreshments. Have you ever heard of the Rialte Brocaire? It is a particularly rare vintage from the north. Why don't you travel to Lucky Mine and root around a bit? Find a bottle of the Rialte Brocaire for us to share, and then we'll talk. Farewell. Ooh. Mm -hmm.
My name is Lannis Davril. I'm a mage of the Scolia Arcana. I don't suppose you have any spare time on your hands. I could use your help with my current research. I have been working on a new type of magic to track the slaying of beasts. I have vials of clear liquid, which, in theory, 
will change color once a specific number of monsters have been slain. I believe I have perfected the formula, though I could use a hand in testing it out. A shame, really. Well... Falls of another wayfarer grace our ears. I'm delighted. I don't suppose you're traveling through Galette, are you? If so, I would not look too hard for anyone. <laughs> there is not much left to find. Yes, we are pilgrims of a sort. Missionaries might be a more appropriate label. We serve our God and follow his will. It was quite a miracle. A number of my order, all drawn by common faith, came to the village, and we showed them salvation. There was fire, and blood, and screaming. Yes, much screaming. But all for the glory of the great Balin. Praise be to him. We liberated them, man and woman, Alfar and human. We have delivered them to Balin, to his paradise. In exchange, our coven will welcome the slumbering Titan, Balin's beloved servitor, into these lands. But would he not? For right now, we will show you paradise. <laughs> Oil the land. The burnt skin of the world glows red with suffering. It is the deep gloam, and a pallor of death settles on the people of Amalur. Fires rage across the wastes. The only sound is whispered laughter. As the embers cool and a wind blows across the desert, life once more erupts from the husk of the earth, and the struggle begins.
Thoru has chosen each of us for the gifts we... Another new soul in Ulcerand. Tell me, are you here for the right of Matharu as well? Welcome to the... One seeks a way to the Fey, but it has found its way to the boughs of the world tree instead. Rest, Quickling, and I may study you. My roots spread wide and deep, and I have heard what brought you here, but I cannot see where you go hence. The time of the Fey is passing. I must shelter them in their twilight and protect them from the corruption that spreads in their kin to the east. I know your needs, but the predators circle Issa in her nest, and I cannot allow another to enter. Issa's end has always been certain, buried beneath Prismere blades. I can only hold back the tide. But you, perhaps you can change the currents. Where you tread, you mark all you touch. Before I would help you, I must know. Will you be a kind gardener, or a careless reaper? Like all quicklings, you are eager to act. I would rather see the method of your action. A tribe of trolls has been corrupted with Prismere. Their matriarch, Nash, has united the clans in the first step on the path of Dalantar's demise. You can change this fate, but to what? In doing so, you may awaken a more dangerous threat, like your ally, Aelin Shear. She walks a dark and tangled path. A path you once walked together. 
before you died. But your path is your own now. Defeat Nash, remove the taint of Prismir. Then I shall see who you are, if not who you will become. The troll matriarch and her brood await at Haxi. Their corruption burns my roots and threatens our future. Walk your path and watch your ally. 